it's Maru with Still Dreaming Homestead. Welcome to my 1000th video. I'm so excited about it. This has been really good for me um, to be able to share part of my life with you, make some new friends, uh, get some ideas from other people, and just share my life. I've been doing this now for about a year and a half and the last year it has been a lot about therapy as we were going through some really hard times and just trying to focus and do this on a regular basis really really helped me. I've learned some things this year. I've learned that small steps are best. Slow and steady Practice makes progress. It doesn't make perfect. I don't do a single thing perfect. But I am making progress in things. I've learned a lot of new skills, and I've learned not to push myself too hard. I'm not as young as I used to be, although I think I'm as strong as I've ever been. At least for continuing, maybe not for a sudden burst. But I've learned I can really hurt myself, like I did last month when I was pruning and overdid. I um, pulled muscles, I guess, between the ribs on my left side, and it's extremely painful. Laid me up for three and a half weeks. Big waste of time because I could have been done with all my pruning, but I'm not. Um, because I thought I could push too hard in one single day. I've learned how important community is, whether it's your family, your neighbors, your church, other organizations that you belong to, maybe your work friends, they are all so valuable. None of us were meant to stand alone. That's not how we were made. And scripture says that iron sharpens iron. We make each other better. Part of that is sharing skills, learning from somebody else, teaching somebody else, and sometimes just the motivation that somebody can give you to keep going when you don't really feel like it. The other thing that I've learned about that is how important it is when you're going through hard times. I went through a hard time this year. My son, uh, Jason, did. He had eight strokes last year. But he's doing better. And we're getting some good reports. And I'm so happy, happy about that. It really is a miracle. But without the people who made a little call, Many of you on Facebook or on YouTube just gave me a little encouragement. Let me know you were thinking about us or praying for us, wishing the very best for Jason. That meant so much to me and gave me just the oomph to be able to carry on because sometimes it was pretty hard. But because of community, I could. The last thing I want to share is an importance with our relationship with God. He's so good to us. And he loves us so much that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. Even while we were still sinners, which we still are, I still am. And knowing for the majority of people, it wasn't going to matter because they would never choose him, no matter what he did. But he didn't care. He wanted to give us that chance to be cut away from the bondage of sin, to be cut away from separation from God. He wants to give us life and it abundantly. He wants to give us a hope and a future. And he wants us to live with him forever in peace and in joy. I want those things, that's for sure. 
Well, I hope during some of these videos that I encouraged you, encouraged you just a little bit, gave you a new idea. I know that sometimes some of you gave me a new idea and I appreciate so much your comments. Whether you agreed with what I was doing or, or not, it didn't matter. It was nice to know you were there. This next year, I'm going to continue on. I'm going to be gardening again this year. I didn't last year because it was the Shemitah year, the year that the ground is to lay to rest. And so I didn't garden, but I'm, I'm excited about it. Uh, the first thing I've done is I've got a sweet potato in water to get some, some little uh, starts for it. So I'll be doing that. I will certainly be canning and doing some cooking. I'm going to be again hatching chickens this year too. Hoping to sell some of those because I have an idea it's going to be hard for people to get those and they were very expensive the last time I bought them. I'm going to continue doing stories although I may not do them as often as I have. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think about stories. I did them hoping my grandchildren would get to see them and some of them have. Um, and I have other children that have watched them, but I also have a base of uh, elderly people that have been watching them or just people that enjoy a story. So please give me your comment on that. The best way you can help my channel grow, I have 343 subscribers, is to share my videos. Uh, you can use your Facebook or let people know on any of your social media. I'm on TikTok. I was on Instagram, but for some reason I can't get on there now, but I'm going to try again. So just check it out. I'll be posting more, and I'm hoping that it will be encouraging to you. It's been encouraging to me and kept me going when I needed something different to think about than some of the hard things that were going on. Well, it's Maria from Still Dreaming Homestead. I want to pray blessings on you and yours in your house, out of your house, in the day and in the night. Whatever you do, keep dreaming. Good night.